welcome back once again guys and if you're new here hi for the first time good to see you uh let's get some housekeeping out of the way like we normally do do the like comment and subscribe thing and also check out the twitter that's in the description as well make sure you also ring that bell if you want to be notified when new videos go live but anyway since the last time you were with us guys we have played two matches since our nine goal thriller against sheffield wednesday we beat Everton comfortably, 4-1. Let's have a look at the scorers in that game. We have two from Evander, a penalty from Adam Armstrong, and a La Quintana goal as well. That guy has been popping up all over the place for us, and I'm more than happy with how, how well he's been doing for us. In fact, I think he's actually our top scorer with eight goals so far this season. Let's have a quick little look. It should tell me on the homepage, I think. Top scorers, seven goals, rather. Tied with Jonas Wind. Now let's go back to that schedule screen there and see we had also had a nil-nil draw with Man City. Now, I thought I was going to get spanked there because City have signed Erling Haaland in this game. In fact, let's take a little look at City's squad. We managed to draw with this squad. Edison, Cancelo, Diaz, Laporte and Digne. Uh, Benesa and Foden and De Bruyne with Bernardo Silva and Son with Haaland up front on their own. And on the bench, just to top this off, Morata, Ferran Torres, Rodri, like really decent players. Kyle Walker's out on loan somewhere, it looks like, at Liverpool. Strange. Uh, Mares is out on loan at Lille. Oh, and he's only 15 odd mil, but he's 31. A bit too old for me to get involved with at the moment, I think. But yeah, we managed to hold, hold these guys to nil-nil at the Etihad as well. So good result for us. And now today, it is the big day. The Carabao Cup quarterfinal. I say this over and over again, but it feels like this season has been incredibly cup focused as far as the episodes that go up on YouTube have been. And I don't think that's going to change too much. Although the FA Cup fourth round, we got drawn against QPR after beating Sheffield Wednesday. We're probably not going to make a video out of that one. We'll probably end up uh, doing something towards the end of January. Because our January is absolutely rammed. I mean, as you can see here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine games in January. Uh, and this one here is our third game in six days, which is insane. But we are going to have to pick our strongest team for it because it's Chelsea and because it's a quarterfinal. So let's jump into our tactics screen now and see what our lineup looks like. So we don't want this to be Armstrong. We want this to be Tales Magno. Uh, we want Evander to be down here. We want you to be Bradley Dak, I believe. Oh, he's suspended. So I guess we want you to be, yeah, Harper's fine, I guess. But let's see, we've got a three and a half star Evander versus a three and a half star Evander and a three star Rakeem there. Ooh, I think we leave it this way. Harper is the attacking mid, Evander stays as his Metzala. With, we've, you won't have seen this guy yet, but we have signed a new centre back who is better than a Drelson. Uh, we may also have another couple of signings coming in this window, but I'll reveal them as and when they arrive. But this Segovia guy, as you can see, uh, much better than a Drelson as far as actual rating goes. Uh, and by much better, I mean half a star better. But he's as good as he's going to be as well as his Kabak. So those two are my first choice centre backs at the moment with a Drelson as the backup. Uh, you know the rest of how the, how the rest of it goes. Uh, Rudy and Evander holding up. Talis Magno, normally Bradley Dak, who's injured. And then uh, La Quintana needs to come here. Uh, and we are going to clear our subs and ask somebody to pick our subs for us and see if Ben Brereton gets put back in there. Yeah, Brereton's there, good. Not a bad bench. Oh, here's another person that we've signed. Sambo, a right back who's got really good potential and will provide some cover for Niambe. Not quite as good as Niambe yet, but only 21. Should get much, much better. So Sambo is going to be our backup right back for now, uh, which we really needed. Oh, and one other thing that we need to do here is put DeMarco in for Thomas. Uh, and do we... Hmm... So they can play centre back as well, which means Adrelson's actually dropping out for Luke Thomas here. We want a backup left back as well. And I think that'll do us. I think that'll definitely do us. 
so let's get into this pre-match press conference, shall we? It's a quarterfinal, our first quarterfinal of the... Uh, did we get into a quarterfinal in our first season? I don't remember. But let's go, let's go with the fact that it's our first quarter, quarterfinal of the save. We've so far pushed three opponents to the wayside and now face a tougher challenge. Can a fourth follow? We've been sharp in training and the lads are in a confident mood. Better than some people expect, expected. How much further do you think you can go? Every team that reaches this stage has a chance of coming out on top. Timo Werner has scored in the last three games against us. Do you have a plan to stop him? Uh, he's hardly unstoppable. We believe we can keep him quiet for 90. Pulled out of a deal to sign Nabdir. What was the reason for that? Well, he didn't get a work permit, so new information came to light. Another big game for us today. Is it difficult for them to face so, so soon after the match against Man City? Uh, everyone remains keen to play through any tiredness. We're confident of our chances. That'll do. And people liked that. Well, at least one of the reporters liked it. My reputation with them grew a little bit. The lack of work permit for that guy was uh, was a pain, though. So Timo Werner actually liked the fact that I said I think we can keep him quiet for 90 minutes. But yeah, after this Chelsea game, we've got Arsenal, and then we enter a bit of an easy stretch with Norwich, Queen's Park Rangers, Southampton, Leeds. So I'm hoping, I mean, our good run of form is bound to come to an end at some point this month with how busy it is. Uh, well, a few of our players actually would have played in the under-23s last night, but hopefully won't be too tired. Hopefully we'll just be able to get straight into this quarterfinal with our strongest team. And who knows, after this, uh, after this match is finished, you might actually see some work permits granted and some fantastic signings made. I've got two big ones. Two very big ones who might be coming in. Slightly older than my normal ones. But, you know, sometimes quality trumps age, doesn't it? Do we want to get a fitness coach? That's what I want to know. I mean, we're, we're getting recommended ones. So this guy's got 19. This guy's got 17. And this guy's got 18. So the guy that's got 19, though. Yeah, this guy's sick. Uh, so we're just going to approach to sign him as a fitness coach. Let's give him another two bump there. Bump that up. He's happy with that. Hopefully he'll join. And now we get to do a press conference about Sambo. Uh, pleased that this opportunity has been presented to us. He's a fine player. Uh, I don't wish to discuss finances. Uh, his arrival is definitely part of the bigger picture. Uh, great respect for him. Cool. That works for me. That was a nice, simple press conference. Now let us get into this game. Oh, here you go. You actually get to see one of the guys we're signing and we'll probably play him in this game. Jorginho. Boom. Got him. So he's actually going to play in place of Rudy. Uh, and Buckley can go on loan. So he's actually going to play against his old team here. So let's see. If we take Rudy out, Oh, he's cup tied, damn it. He can't play. Nah. But yeah, we've got our new deep lion playmaker there now. And I'm hoping just one of the two others comes through because that will give us an amazing midfield overall. I'm not going to comment on who it is unless it, it finishes here before the game starts. Let's see. It does not indeed. Uh, okay, that guy I'm not that bothered about. Zaha, cool. And then we've got our fitness tests here. Where Jonas Wind is capable of playing with minimum complications. That's good for me. And here we go, we're getting into the game. And I can't play Jorginho, which is a shame. Right, so we'll do our opposition instructions. We will defend more narrowly. We'll ignore the rest of that. They want us to change quite a lot here, but I'm not going to do that. So we'll go straight into team selection. We'll leave this nice green bar here. These two guys work real well together, Niambi and La Quintana. Hopefully, DeMarco and Talis Magno will build that up as well, as well as Segovia and Kabak. And hopefully, we get some nice uh, lines coming in. If we have Bradley Dak playing, there'd also be a line between him and Jonas Wind. But let's see what he's had. 
Reacted well to our latest chat. Good. Reacted well to our latest chat. Fantastic. And this guy reacted well to the latest press conference. Fantastic. So let's get into the game, shall we? Yeah, La Quintana's not fully fit. That's fine. Let's auto number this fella. And let's go to the match. Oh, I'm going to have to uh, register Jorginho as well, aren't I? I nearly forgot about that. We will go hard on Kai Havertz into the dressing room. Uh, we know how good we are. Let's show everyone else what we're capable of. Uh, both teams coming on good form. How do you rate your chances? Yes, that one works. Bradley Dak is suspended. How big of an absence? These things happen, so it's up to the rest of the squad to make sure we don't miss him too much. Now, let's see. What are my actual tactics set on? Uh, absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. Brilliant. So, yeah, we'll let this play out, and hopefully... Oh, let me change this back to extended highlights as well, so we've got more to watch. As I don't... Is that Bruno Gamerez? Bruno G, I'm not sure. As Kante plays it to James. Is that Dan James? No, it's be Reese James, won't it? Montero plays this one clear. Reese James heads that. And Dika tries to take it, but La Quintana steals it off his boots. And he keeps going. He's switched wings here, and he's worked his way into the box. La Quintana, ladies and gentlemen. Absolute workhorse. Not fully fit, yet still making crazy runs like that. And it is Bruno Gomez. Yep. So Reese James, Ben Chilwell, and Dika and Zuma with Mendy in goal. Havertz and Gomez in centre mid. Ziyech and Zaniolo as the wingers. And Tammy Abraham up front. No Timo Werner yet, at least. Let's give the boys some encouragement. Almost all of them, except for Ryan Niambe, liked that. And now here comes Ziyech to deliver a corner. Headed clear by Kabak, but only as far as Bruno Gomez. It's back out to Ziyech. Into Zaniolo. Gomez shoots. Montero stops it. Tammy Abram comes in. With the rebound, Montero was slow to react to and taps that one in at the back post. 1-0 Chelsea. Not a good start for Rovers. We'll skip this replay. We're not that fussed. Now let's see if we can get one back straight away as DeMarco plays it to Evander. Evander heading towards the byline but plays it back to DeMarco. DeMarco to Harper. Back to DeMarco again. Are we going to deliver? We are going to deliver but Ndika meets it. But Evander gets the second ball and heads it back to Rudy. And it's back out on the left-hand side with DeMarco. Let's just flick ourselves to attacking real quick. DeMarco delivers it in. Stolen off Jonas Wynn's feet by Ndika. And now Chelsea are breaking on a counter with Tammy Abram. Having to go backwards towards Reese James. Played into Havertz in the centre and it's back with Abram again. A large triangle played there. Played into Zaniolo who shoots. And Montero holds comfortably. Now can something build for Blackburn Rovers here as Ziyech with a free kick in the corner. Finds Zuma at the back post, but he hits the bar and it's cleared out. And now Raheem Harper has a chance to break here. It's two on two here. And Reese James puts in an amazing sliding tackle there to dispossess him and then runs it out of play for a throw. Uh, yeah, we're going to bring on Brereton for La Quintana now because he is knackered, as you can see. As DeMarco here plays the ball to Talis Magno. Alice Magno cutting inside here. Looking forward. Brereton's looking to make a run here. It's played in, but Chilwell is on the ball to intercept. And then that long ball's played up towards Abram, who nods it on to nobody. And DeMarco's going to pick that up and play it back to Montero. Now with Rudy. Evander with a long ball forward, but Indica intercepts and Chelsea can come again. As Havertz plays that forward to Zaniolo. Interception completely missed, and Zaniolo tried to go all the way, but Montero was equal to it and tips it round the corner, round the post rather, for a corner. Ziyech looking to swing this one in. And Brereton heads clear and heads it out for a throw. We might have to go a little bit more direct here, I think, as DeMarco throws it into Talis Magno. Tries to play it back to Evander, but Reese James is there and gets a foot in. And then Chelsea have a chance to come again as Havertz is trying to work his way through the midfield. But he's being marshalled pretty well here by Harper, I believe. And he ends up having to go all the way back to Chilwell and now Kante. Playing it back to Indica. Back with Havertz again. Bruno Gomez slips a beautiful through ball through to Tammy Abraham. And that makes it 2-0 to Chelsea. 
it looks like our carabao cup dream is ending early ladies and gentlemen two down it's a hard result to come back from especially just before half time but we're going to give it a go my team is absolutely knackered the world cup really didn't do us any favors and we've got like hardly any xg here we've been playing terribly Told them that they know they weren't good enough. Jonas Wynn's going to have to come off here. Uh, and he's going to come off for Jack Vale. Who we're going to put in as an advanced forward. And who else is playing really bad? Evander's not playing great. So I guess Evander is coming off. For... Um, Adam Armstrong. And then you'll swap with Raheem Harper. And hopefully... That'll give us what we need. Uh, but we are going to go slightly more direct as well. Slightly higher tempo. Much more direct. Back into the dressing room and go. Let's see if we can get at least a goal back here. As Chelsea restart the half here. Zuma plays it long. Looking for Abraham, but Segovia gets there first. But it's out of touch for a throw. And now here's Niambe with a throw for Rovers to Rudy. Receives it back from Rudy and brings it in Montero. Montero with the long ball forward looking for Talis Magno, but it's intercepted. And now Kante is looking to start something for Chelsea. Brings Reese James into play. And now Zaniolo and James combining out here on the right. And a through ball to Bruno Gameras. And the strike is wide and it's a goal kick. And now the rest of my team is just going to have to labor on being tired here, I'm afraid. So we're going to have to encourage the boys again. As they're playing out from the back here with Zuma. Can only hit it out as far as Harper. Harper slits, swings one through to Armstrong. And Armstrong hits it just wide. Positive start to this second half for, uh, for Rovers. And now Chelsea have an attacking throw here. Reese James finds Bruno Gameras. James and Gameras combining a lot there. But the cross in is a bad one. Niambe heads it clear but only as far as Chilwell. Werner's on the pitch here now, though. But that's a bad pass from Chilwell. And our clearance ends up coming to absolutely nothing. No one up there to counter for. Now, let's see. Can something actually happen here? We're going to go very attacking, I think. We kind of need to. As Ziyech delivers that one in. Locatelli headed it. But it ended up getting pushed wide for a corner. As Ziyech swinging one in again. Segovia's there to... I can't even remember if that's his name. Segovia is there to head it clear. But again, the counter-attack comes to nothing. I'm going to demand more from them. I know you're all knackered, guys, but I need you to work for me here. It's now Kante trying to start something here in the centre of the park. Locatelli finds Werner. And now Werner, he's going to try and go all the way on his own here. Nope, he passes it to Abram, but Rudy intercepts and plays a ball to Talis Magno. Is Jack Vale going to make a run here? No, but Ben Brereton is. And Brereton, oh, his shot is blocked twice. And it goes out of play for a corner. Fantastic defending from Chelsea. They must really want this quarterfinal. As DeMarco swings the corner in, trying to find Vale at the back post, but it's headed clear by a Chelsea head and out for a throw. Only five minutes of the game remain. Only stoppage time remaining now. And we have a throw from Ryan Niambe here. Tries to find Armstrong, but it's cleared. Comes all the way back to Kabak. Kabak plays a long ball forward, looking for Jack Vale. It falls to Rudy. Brereton and Rudy combining, trying to make something happen here. Niambe now out on the right-hand side. Can he deliver a cross in? He can, he can slice one out for a corner, for a goal kick, that's for sure. Absolutely drab display from Blackburn Rovers there, especially after the form we've been in. But after the fixture pile up and how tired people are getting, I'm not sure I can blame them. Talis Magno with an awful performance there. I'm not pleased with the performance at all. I'm not going to go with what my assistant suggests. I'm going to tell them I'm not happy and hope they improve next game. But our Carabao Cup run has come to an end, ladies and gentlemen, at the quarterfinal stage. Sunderland beat Wolves, which is incredible. I wish we'd have got drawn against Sunderland. That would have made this cup run all the more interesting. But we are defeated there. Chelsea eased to victory. It was a relatively easy win for them. Now let's see what people are going to say about it. 
must be disappointed to be eliminated. Uh, nobody ever wants to lose, but taking a broader perspective, we were never really likely to win this competition. It would have been nice to. No, I'm going to say I'm not happy to go out like that. Blackburn's dream run is over, ending in a defeat to Chelsea. What are my immediate thoughts? Uh, to get to this stage and then fall is disappointing. Tammy Abram was brilliant. He did well, but I'm not here to talk about the opposition. That was a very negative press conference from me. Now let's see what the reaction to that press conference was like. Uh, no reaction to it. Okay, that was a disappointing match. A very disappointing match, I have to say. Now let's see what we've got coming up. So after that defeat to Chelsea, we've got a game against Arsenal, who are currently first in the Premier League. Followed by Norwich, QPR, Villa, Leeds, Southampton. So at least the rest of January is relatively easy. And I can maybe afford some rotation there. But I'm going to have to rotate for the Arsenal game. But I am going to be able to bring Jorginho in. Which is going to be big for us. And like I say, if we get another one of the midfield signings that I've been looking for in as well. We are going to have a nasty midfield, I tell you. But we'll join you back, guys, for probably the Leeds game. Or the Southampton game. I haven't decided yet. So we'll see you in a few games time. And remember if you haven't already guys. Please do hit that subscribe button. Leave a like on the video. It really does help the channel more than you know. Uh, ring that bell if you want to get notified. About new videos going live. And also leave a comment. In the comments down below. How disappointed are you in that result. It was a really drab game. Uh, but yeah make sure you leave a comment. Go check out the Twitter that's in the description as well. And as always guys. I have been Deej. You guys have been amazing. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.